Okay. So I'm going to talk about, uh, hi everyone, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, random additive polynomials in the setting, uh, and I will focus about the Galois theory. So what I want to tell you, but something is weird because I got this message. I, okay, never mind. So um, what I want to, to cover is uh, first uh, the general Galois theory of additive polynomials, some uh, model of randomness, and, and in each model to tell you what, uh, what is the typical Galois group. And uh, if time allows, I will give you maybe a glimpse on some of the methods, which, which I find very interesting. Um, so maybe I'll start with some motivation or some introduction. Uh, what happens for uh, regular polynomials, so non-additive non, non polynomials. So um, two or three years ago, I gave you a talk, so I will uh, use the same notation, uh, I hope you remember. Um, so I have a, 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 a polynomial, and I take a polynomial over the integer, which is uniform uh, from the set of all polynomials of degree n and height uh, uh, at most l, this man, means that uh, I choose a sequence of, uh, uh, of random uh, variables uh, uh, which are independent and they take the, uh, the values, the integer values between minus n, L and L uh, uniformly. So this is uh, 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 my random polynomial, okay? And I have uh, three models that I, I mean, three natural models, there are more, but uh, 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 to consider, but before that, if the polynomial is uh, separable, uh, namely doesn't have uh, double roots, I can view its Galois group as a subgroup of the symmetric group by action on the on the roots. And the, the three models, or the three natural models, is the large box model, where I take the coefficient from a box, and the size of the box is growing, and the degree, the dimension is fixed, so the degree is fixed and the height goes to infinity. And uh, I have the restricted coefficient model where the dimension of the box is going, but the size is fixed. And I said three, but I meant two, so, okay? So these are two natural uh, models uh, for random polynomials over the integers. And uh, some results that we have about uh, these uh, polynomials uh, in the large box model, the Galois group of the polynomial is, is the full symmetric group asymptotically almost surely. This is going back to uh, Hilbert and Van der Waarden for quantity versions, etc. And in the large box model, the, the big challenge is, uh, is, uh, um, is to understand what, uh, how the Galois group uh, uh, behaves on the, on the complement when, when the Galois group is not SN. And, and on this problem we saw a lot of recent uh, progress, uh, I listed some of the people, uh, uh, and, and the, the main, the, the main uh, I mean, the big result from recent years is of Vargava, uh, who proved that the, the probability that the Galois group is not SN is, uh, is bounded by one over uh, the size of the box, uh, asymptotically, okay? And, and from this, uh, one can, uh, and, and also he showed that uh, the, the if you are not SN, then most probably you are either SN minus one, which means the polynomial has a root, or you are AN. Uh, I will not get into this uh, in more details, but I will just say that, that a, a, a numeric uh, evidence show that AN is, is uh, very rare, so, but this is the, the, the best that we can prove uh, now. And in the restricted coefficient models, uh, the situation is more difficult. And even the uh, irreducibility is a challenge. And, and here, uh, the, the, maybe the recent progress is by Kunyagin, uh, myself and Cosma, Boyard uh, and Varyu, and a paper with, God, uh, with uh, uh, Dimitris Kukulopoulos and Cosma. And let me not cover all the, the history, just give you two exemplary results. The first says that um, the probability that uh, the polynomial is irreducible is always positive for every box that you take, and, and, and it becomes uh, probability one uh, when the box size is 35, so when L is 17. And, and 
and uh, another, if you are more interested in Galois theory, so the, another result is that the Galois group is large, namely it contains a n, a, a condition on the probability that f is irreducible with probability large for, for any interval. So this is just some, some field. So this is the, not what I'm going to talk today about because these are not additive polynomials. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, uh, additive polynomials. So uh, maybe let me start with uh, uh, some basics. Um, <clears throat> sorry, so what is an additive polynomial or slightly more general Q additive polynomial? Q additive polynomial is a polynomial that uh, uh, is a, uh, has only terms uh, of the form x to the q to the i. Uh, or, uh, so I assume that uh, the base field where I choose the coefficient for, form contains the finite field fq. And uh, I only allow terms that are uh, uh, of degree a power of q. And it's called q additive because uh, it, uh, it, is, uh, um, it, it has some additive property as I wrote. And, and the point is that the, the zero set of F in the algebraic closure is a vector space, is a FQ vector space, okay? Because uh, this is obvious, right? Uh, therefore, uh, if, if F is separable, which in this case, it means that the, uh, the A zero, the, the smallest coefficient is, uh, is non-zero, then if F is separable, the Galois group which acts on the zeros, but now the zeros are FQ vector space. So the Galois group uh, naturally embeds into the, uh, into GLN Q. So into uh, invertible matrices over FQ because it acts on a vector space of dimension N. Okay. So now the, the group is not a subgroup of S and not every symmetry is allowed because we have a, a, a structure on ZF. Um, and if you randomize F in some way, then you get a, a, a random subgroup of GF. So the main question is uh, uh, how this Galois group distribute, for example, is GF typically a, a, a irreducible subgroup of GLN? Is it large and whatever uh, interests you? Okay, M maybe I should say that Q additive polynomials is a very classical object and they, they come in, in the study of uh, the Drinfeld module, et cetera, but let me not get into, uh, into this too much. Okay, so, so the, 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 the bottom line is that if we have Q additive polynomial, then the Galois group is a group of matrices and not group of, of permutations, okay? Um, so let me immediately restrict to the case where uh, the base field, the field that I choose, coefficients form is uh, the rational function field in, uh, uh, in, uh, in one variable over a finite field FQ. And then I have, uh, this is an analog of the rational. So I have an analog a way to choose polynomial, random polynomial. So I take F to be a uniform polynomial of a degree, uh, let's say monic of degree Q to the N and of height at most q to the d. More precisely, what do I mean by this? I just mean that the coefficients are uh, independent random variables taking the values, polynomials of degree at most d, uh, uniform. Okay? So this is my uniform polynomial. Uh, this is my random polynomial. Okay? And here uh, we have uh, three models. Uh, Uh, the large box model where I, I fix the degree of the polynomial in X, uh, I fix the finite field and I let the, the height, which is the degree in T goes to infinity. I have the, the large finite field model in which uh, um, I fix the height and the degree and let the finite field go to infinity. And uh, maybe the mo mo most challenging case is when I uh, I call it the restricted coefficient model where I fix the, the degree of the coefficients and I fix the finite field and I let the degree of the polynomial go to infinity. Right, so these are the, the three natural uh, models uh, for, randomness, for randomness, sorry. Uh, by the way, uh, feel free to ask questions. Uh, 
for example, now if you have it, it's a good time. Okay, but don't don't worry to stop me. It's it's, it's fine. And and I, I order them in this order, not randomly, because uh, maybe you, you can think that it's alphabetically, but it's not. It's it's uh, by the uh, ho the level of difficulty of each model. So the first model is very easy to handle. The second model is slightly more challenging, and we use deep result from finite group theory. And the last model is is what I will uh, focus about in this talk. Okay, so let's start with the uh, the first two models. Um, so, uh, um, so this is the large box model and the large finite field model. So here in, in these two models, we have a, a, a very nice and, and clean result that asymptotically almost surely the Galois group is GLN Q. But the proofs, uh, so this is a theorem with, a, a, I, I plan to say it at the beginning, but, but I forgot. So this is a joint, all, all of this project is joined with uh, Alexei Antin from, uh, uh, with Alexei Antin and uh, Ailey McKemmy. And I, I look on her eyes to see if I said it correctly. Yeah, good. And Ailey McKemmy. So in, in these two models, uh, the Galois group is uh, asymptotically almost surely, surely uh, the full uh, uh, matrix group. And in the large box model, it's, it's uh, pretty easy. Uh, we just, we compute the generic Galois group. So when the coefficients are actually variables, and this, this, this is easy to do. For example, Dixon did it in uh, 1911 when he studied the invariance of, of, uh, of this group. And then we just apply a function field of uh, Hilbert's irreducibility theorem. So it's very similar to the proof of Hilbert of, uh, of uh, that irreducible, uh, that a polynomial over the integers in the large box model has a, a full symmetric group with probability one. It's, it's exactly the same proof, but modified to the, to the setting. Um, the large finite field is, is more challenging. I don't want to, to get into too much details because I want to focus on the third limit. But uh, the main thing that we use is that there are a few characteristic polynomial of element in certain conjugacy classes in maximal subgroup of GLN. So uh, such as, I, I just gave one example, which is the, the Rith product. This is uh, the, 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 the group that, uh, uh, that uh, acts on, on a, a factorization of the vector space into a direct sum of uh, L copies. And, and this is a deep, and this is based on on a Fulman Goralnik classification of maximal subgroup of GLN Q. It's a series of papers of them by them uh, that uh, that is a, a key and ingredient in the proof. So so it uses a very deep group theory. So, and we don't know how to prove it without it. Okay. Um, so let me go now to uh, to the large degree limit. Um, and I want to start because it's slightly more complicated in the large degree limit. So let me start with uh, 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 what are the obstructions uh, for the group to be GLN. Uh, there are some obstructions that, that occur with a, a positive uh, uh, probability. Um, so first of all, we have a, a separability obstruction. So the, I, I, I remind you that a polynomial, uh, additive polynomial is separable if and only if it's, it's a, if the coefficient of X is non-zero. But because we are in a restricted uh, coefficient model, we choose, I mean, the probability that A zero is zero is, is positive. It's uh, one over Q to the D plus one, right? Because it's a random polynomial of degree at most D, so it can be zero. So first of all, we have to take care of, of, of this issue that occurs with a positive probability. Um, a, a, another uh, obstruction is obstruction for the irreducibility. When I say irreducibility, I think of the Galo group as a subgroup of GLN Q, and I think about irreducibility in the sense that there is no uh, invariant subspace. And it's possible, and it happens with a, a positive asymptotic probability, that if I view F, this F that I wrote it as a polynomial in X, if now I view it and I look at it 
at it as a polynomial in T, and I take GCD of the coefficient, it's possible that, of course, the GCD of the coefficient of F as a polynomial in T always uh, divisible by X because X divides everything, but it's possible that it has a higher uh, degree. And, and this GCD, I call it uh, the content or uh, in short CTF, uh, this G GCD uh, is a Q additive polynomial with coefficient in a finite field in FQ. And, uh, this po uh, and, and the zero set of this polynomial is an invariant subspace of, of the Galois group. So it's possible with positive probability that uh, uh, the, the group is even not irreducible. So it has invariant space. But this invariant space is very special. It's something over a finite field, okay? But this happens with positive probability. And, and we also have a determinant obstruction. So I, I just gave one example. Uh, 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 the probability that the, the determinant of all elements in the group is one is the, the same. I mean, if for, uh, I meant bigger or equal, I wrote equal, but I meant to write bigger or equal. So think, think that maybe, maybe the free coefficient A0 is some power of Q minus, some B0 to the Q minus one. So no matter uh, uh, what I will do, the determinant of all elements will be one. And this, this also happens with a, a positive probability. So the first theorem that I want uh, to, to tell you about is um, what happens if all of this obstruction do not occur, okay? So this is the simplest theorem that I can provide to you in this limit. And, and uh, uh, in this case, uh, if the if I condition on uh, the content of the polynomial to be x, so I don't have the irreducibility obstruction, uh, and and I don't care about this uh, determinant, so I just want to to check whether SLN is contained in the group. So the probability that SLN is contain, contained in the Galois group, given that condition on the fact that the uh, the content of the polynomial is x, goes to one as a, a the degree goes to infinity. Okay, so this is a, a kind of a avoiding all the obstructions, uh, but but we, we in fact we also analyzed what happened uh, with the obstruction. But I wanted before to say uh, uh, one. Uh, so this theorem uses a very deep group theory to prove it, and we get a corollary that I, myself uh, I don't know how to prove without deep results in group theory. But it seems kind of, uh, how do you say, uh, something that, yeah, something uh, maybe that is, is of interest to some people. So if I take this uh, additive polynomial, of course it cannot be irreducible as a polynomial because X divide all the coefficients, uh, because X divide the polynomial. But uh, if you divide F of X by X, and this polynomial when, when N goes to infinity is irreducible as a polynomial, Asymptotically almost surely. And this is something that I do not know how to prove without going through uh, our theorem and, and in particular using deep, when I say deep group theory for me as a number theorist, it's the minimal is that I use the classification of finite simple group, but it's much, much further. Okay? So I don't know how to prove this corollary without the classification. Uh, the, the, yeah. Okay. So let me try and explain what is the general result that we get, because we get a full result in, in uh, this thing. So I need to analyze what happens if the content is not one, and I need to, so, so let, let's take H to be a polynomial with coefficient in the finite field FQ. And, and I assume that this polynomial H divides uh, the polynomial F, okay? So the zero set of H is an invariant GF uh, uh, subspace. And because H has a coefficient in a finite field, then it's very easy to understand the Galois group because it's only the Frobenius. And then if you do some computation, you can show that uh, the Galois group is generated by, uh, the, by the companion matrix, and the matrix that you put once and the coefficients of the polynomial, right? So, so automatically we get that the Galo group is a subgroup of uh, uh, upper triangular block matrices where in, in uh, I'm not sure if it transforms me or not. So in the upper left side, it's a group, the group generated by D, this is 
the action of ZH. There is something in the upper right corner, and, and in the lower right corner, again, it's, I don't know anything, so it, at the beginning it's contained in GLN minus eta, just so the dimension will be N. Okay, so automatically I know that the, the, the group uh, factors uh, into this, uh, is contained into, into this. Uh, another thing is that um, uh, if I take uh, some non-zero C and some K that divides Q minus one, then, uh, then one can show that, uh, uh, and, and I assume that, uh, uh, that uh, A zero is, um, I have something on my screen that doesn't allow me to, to read and I don't remember the notation. So I, I will try to use my memory and if it's nonsense, tell me. And I assume that A zero is C times U to the K. Um, so so, so uh, this is the determinant of structure. So if, if A zero is, is, is some constant time, uh, uh, some, time some polynomial to the K where K is the maximal uh, possible, then, uh, then I know that the, the and, and I write uh, 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 and I write uh, the group uh, like this, the, uh, an element in the group like this. Then, then I know that the determinant of b will be some uh, c over determinant of d to the i times the kth power. And so I know that this is an abstraction on the determinant of the um, lower right uh, block. And, and, ah, and I call uh, gamma N H C K, probably this is the thing that, uh, that I was missing. Uh, I, I don't know how to delete the, the meeting is being recorded by the host participant, whatever. Uh, so, so I let gamma to be all matrices of this form that, uh, that uh, they are in the uh, upper left side, I have some power of D, D is the companion matrix of H. I have something A in the corner, in the right uh, top corner, and in the bottom uh, uh, corner I have some matrix B, and the determinant of B is, uh, is, is given by something like, it satisfies this condition that I wrote. This is something technical, but it's exact. And then what we can prove is that the probability that GF is this group, a condition on the content being H and A0 being a kth power times a constant, it goes to one as the n goes to infinity. Okay, so so we 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 managed to analyze uh, uh, based on the content which is uh, which we denote by h and the maximal power that we can represent a zero is u to the k time constant uh, to to analyze exactly what will be the group. Um, I should I should say that this 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 uh, thing that we condition on. Uh, happens with a positive, with asymptotic positive probability. So we really have to, to, to worry about each, each one of these. And also I should mention that this exhausts uh, all, asymptotically it exhausts uh, all cases in the sense that um, if I take the union of all these events on, on which I condition, I get asymptotic probability one. So, so this is really a full uh, a result, but it's a bit technical, so. So let me go back to, to, the, to the easy result where we ignore all the obstructions. So, so uh, let me tell you the methods. Uh, it's just a glimpse about the method because there are some more points there, but, but I think this, those are maybe the most interesting parts. So, so I, I restrict to the case, the first theorem that I told you that I just want to check whether SLN is inside my group. And I condition on the fact that uh, the only poly polynomial that divides, uh, uh, the only polynomial in X that divides F is X, so that the content is X. Okay. Um, yeah. So GF is irreducible. Uh, is reducible. It means that there exists an invariant subspace of some dimension between one to n, so between zero to n. And, and we can write it as, as the fact that there exists some pol uh, additive, Q additive polynomials of degree compatible Q to the, to the M uh, that divides my polynomial. Indeed, uh, if I have the vector space V, I can construct G by taking uh, uh, 
uh, the product of x minus the elements in v, and vice versa, if I have uh, uh, g, I can construct v as the zero set of, of g. And something that happens in function field that does not happen in number field, and this makes the number field case much more complicated, uh, is that uh, in function field, the height function is, uh, is multiplicative. So in some sense, uh, in, in the number field, this is uh, illustrated by the fact that the height function is multiplicative once you, but is almost multiplicative and the constant that you have to pay is exponentially in n, something like this, which causes a lot of problem when you want to take n to infinity. So, but here it's multiplicative. So, so irreducibility is slightly easier. And uh, I, I wrote some, some lemma, I mean, we can, if, if I have such a polynomial that divides F, then I can uh, get bounds on the degree in T and therefore I can bound the, I can bound the probability that uh, such a G exists. So, so uh, irreducibility is significantly, significantly easier than what is, happens in the number field case. And I want to emphasize this because in the number field case, when I multiply two polynomials, the height is not multiplicative, it's almost multiplicative, but, but the constant that I, so the height of F times the height of G will, will be comparable to the height of F times G, but the constant will be, I don't remember now if it's a exponential or even larger in N. This is coming from going through the Mahler measure, which is multiplicative. And, and when you take n to infinity, exponential uh, constant in n is slightly problematic because it, it makes all arguments fail. So you need to come up with something different. But, but here, irreduci irreducibility, we, we managed to, to do it. I mean, I skipped some details, but, but this is the heart of it. And the, the, so this is one, one, uh, one thing that we have height bounds, and then we can prove uh, reducibility in this method. And the second part is specialization method. Uh, we want to specialize, for example, t equals zero. Uh, and, then, uh, and then I can lift the Frobenius. So what does it mean to specialize? F is a polynomial in two variables. And after I specialize, I, I'm, I'm in polynomial, I, I have a polynomial in one variable over a finite field. So, um, so I have the Frobenius that acts on the roots. And, and I can leave this Frobenius to an element in the, in the Galois group of the original polynomial. Um, <laughs> and, and the point is that at least if F0x is separable, and this means that uh, the corresponding uh, point is unramified in some extension, never mind the details. So if F0x is separable, then I get an element in GLN Q in the Galois group that have characteristic polynomial, which is the same polynomial as my original polynomial, but now uh, every time that I have x to the q, I write just x. So this is the characteristic polynomial of the corresponding matrix. Uh, and, and we can show that this is uh, in some sense almost uniform that I, I don't want to get into the details of that. Uh, and then we get a matrix whose characteristic polynomial is, is almost uniform in some very strong sense. Um, so again, I want to prove that uh, GF contains uh, SLN. So now that I know that I have a, a almost uniform a, a characteristic polynomial, I, I apply finite group theory. Uh, and here, uh, this is the part that I, that, that I learned, uh, I had to learn uh, uh, for this project that I learned from Ailey, is that uh, we have a, 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 a we have the nine Ashbacher, Ashbacher uh, classes uh, of maximal subgroup of GLN. And for example, uh, uh, C2 is, is this uh, groups like the Rith product that I wrote be before. It's uh, the groups that uh, stabilize such kind of factorization. V, V1 direct sum with VT, which have the same dimension. So, so I have the uh, symmetric group acting on the component. I can transform them. And then for each component, I have G, GL of the correct dimension, probably N over T, that acts on each component. So, so this is one, one type. Uh, so, so we have uh, eight 
nine, nine classes like this, uh, one of them is of the reducible polynomial that we already took care of, of them. And the point is that uh, this is a deep theorem in, in group theory that, that they are, although, they are not, although there might be a lot of maximal subgroups, there are not so many um, characteristic polynomials as n goes to infinity. So, so I remind you, I have, a, I have a, a matrix. I know how to generate a matrix with high probability, a matrix whose characteristic polynomial is close to uniform. So I have some constant time Q to the N of these with high probability, but only a very small portion of them is, a, is a, in one of these classes of maximal subgroups that do not contain SLN. So, so the conclusion is that, that I have irreducible poly, a group that contains, uh, that uh, is not containing any maximal subgroup, so it must contain SLN, okay? And, and this proof uh, use uh, deep results of Fullman and Goralnik, uh, uh, about the number of uh, okay all kind of results and uh, and and you you also need to to uh, how to say to to enhance it with a, with a, a analytic number theory in the sense of a, a, a anatomy of integers and, and this was done by Eberhard and Gerson Gerson um, okay. So, so what I told you, I told you what is Galois theory of additive polynomials, about three models of them. I, I, I explained the, the results that we have in each of the models. We have uh, in two of the models, the large finite field and the large box, we just get GLN with probability one, but, uh, um, but in the, a restricted coefficient model, we get um, we get all kind of abstraction, and each of these obst obstruction of course with a positive probability. But but we can handle it, and and I, I gave you some some hints on what what is hidden behind the the proofs, and I think that uh, that's it. Thank you.